Hey neighbors, welcome back to my channel. If y'all are new, welcome to the neighborhood. As y'all can see by that title, I'm going to be telling y'all how much the total of my trip costed. Like the total. I may be leaving out a few details such as probably like my heels or some high shoes or something like that. But just little, very little stuff because I, I bought that stuff like way back because I was planning my birthday ahead for so long so i don't really remember how much it was and i couldn't find the receipts but i do have the main stuff for y'all the main things that y'all need to know and yeah we just gonna get straight into the video okay y'all so firstly we're gonna put airbnb which is a necessity or your hotel whatever however you want to do it because you have to have somewhere to stay where else you gonna unless you got a family member that lives down there or something i don't i don't know your situation but i spent 654 dollars and four cents on my airbnb which was for the 10th the 11th the 12th and the 13th and then we checked out on the 14th um my flight was six hundred and forty dollars plus seventy five dollars for my carry-on bag but i didn't buy my carry-on bag until i got there because i thought my suitcase was little i thought it was little enough to fit inside of the little thingy so i didn't i was taking a risk at that moment and then i had to also pay for it on the way back and on the way back it was a little higher it was seventy nine dollars but as y'all know that the flight system changes every day y'all so yeah meaning that your price could be cheap one day low the next cheap one day low next i don't know if it's specifically like that for the um carry-ons but yeah okay and for the activities we did up to six activities which was one atv atv um was 70 dollars but with tax included it was 82 dollars and 25 cents we also we went to the beach the beach was free we went to old san juan that was free we went to the mall that was free we went to the club that was free and we had a picnic that was free besides the stuff that we needed for the picnic but you know so yeah and in total with uber i spent two hundred and sixty four dollars and forty four cents i don't know about y'all but a deal is a deal i feel like that was better that was way better than um having a rental because it's just like you're gonna have to drive the car for one who's driving who, who's trying to drive on vacation not me i don't know about y'all but not me then you have to pay for gas in the car to get to where you're trying to go so and plus the uber was i feel like that amount was cheaper than getting a rental to me but that's just me and yeah and also me and my friend did split these prices because it was just me and her so um yeah um i don't have her half because this is just my half of what i spent but yeah guys um liquor was 35 dollars and seven cents and that was all the liquor in total you know for food we spent $238.22, which was mostly on food out because we didn't really eat inside for real or cook anything because we really like, it's like we're trying to try new food out of state, out of town. So why are we making something that we used to? So yeah, for souvenirs, I spent $64.53. Which is really basically up to y'all if y'all want to spend. This is not a necessity spend. It's just based off if you want to spend, whether you out of town. I don't know about y'all, but when I go out of town, I like to basically like get stuff so I remember like, yeah, I'm going to take pictures, but I still want to have a memorable like type of thing because it's just me. I don't know. I love memories. I'm a sucker for memories. So yeah, y'all. Um, for apparel wear... I have, I spent 
$446.94. So basically almost $500 on clothes. But I only have my my suitcase was $229. It was from Victoria's Secret. I bought some bubble slides, a bubble dress, a purple dress. That purple dress I had. And my birthday dress. So yeah. That was that. I think that was all my clothes. I'm not sure. It probably was more. Oh no, my bathing suit and stuff like that. But I had already bought that stuff prior. So I don't remember how much it was. And unfortunately, I didn't put it on here because, yeah. And some of the clothes that I had was already clothes that I've had been had, I think. Or I think it was the shoes or something like that. One of them. But it was something that I had already been had because it's just like I just never really wore it out anywhere. So, yeah. But I don't remember, guys. But all I know is I was shopping since last year. I've been planning my, I was planning that birthday since the previous year. So, yeah. Um, for my maintenance... I spent $164.72 and 72 cents, which included hair, nails, and toes. Okay. So yeah, y'all already know how that goes. And that gives me a total of two thousand dollars seven hundred and twenty-six and fifty-seven cents. And I'm gonna put this whole layout. I don't know if y'all can see it because my ring light is so bright right now. But I'm going to put this whole layout, like, I'm going to put the whole layout on here for y'all. It's going to be on the side of the screen. On oh, here, y'all probably see it before I even said this. But, yeah, y'all going to see it on the side of the screen so y'all can get a full broken down list of how much everything costs. Um... I know it kind of seemed expensive. I don't know how everybody budget is or whatever they said or, or your situation in the case may be. But I feel like it only cost it that much because it was just me and one other girl. I mean, one other friend, my other friend. So we didn't have nobody else. And there were other people that was supposed to come, but they didn't come. So I feel like if it was like more so like a group thing, then it would be a great more better budgeting plan but when you go out to stuff like that by yourself then of course the prices are going to be high because it's basically like all on you type thing or all on you and the other person just that one other person so yeah but if we were to divide 200 i mean 2726 divided by let me do, let me add it up Divided by, dang, not divided by two people. I put it wrong. 2,726 divided by, let me say four. Oh, my God. Divided by four people. If it was divided by four people, say four people would have went on the trip, it would have been $681.50 in total. So, whatever y'all looking for, y'all budget to spend, like, overall, divided, divide, the amount of people y'all know is guaranteed to come and please 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 watch who y'all inviting because just watch who y'all inviting but yeah guys so there's that watch who y'all travel with watch who you inviting make sure whoever you're inviting is reliable and if not always always have a backup plan stay on 10 because you don't know what people have planned or you don't know if emergencies may occur with people and etc. So make sure y'all keep that in mind. So yeah. But I hope y'all like this video. I hope this video helped y'all um, get a better idea of how much things are out there. Because things are really not expensive out there. They're not like it's really cheap like they had good deals on groceries like all that like things are really cheap out there than what it is probably in your hometown or probably higher based off what you're used to i'm not sure but for me as a person living in atlanta it was definitely cheaper there so yeah y'all it's 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 ways to get around and it's free activities like if there there's ways to have fun so yeah if you just be smart with your money and 
yeah if y'all go let me know how i go in the comments or y'all can go watch my travel vlog and yeah i really hope that this help y'all and give y'all a good idea of how things went and how things should go for your trip and etc etc but yeah guys i hope y'all like this video please make sure y'all like comment subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next video I can't